Tap the maze video blog. Either five or six. Either way. You niggas best stop snitching. Stop snitching. One of you motherfuckers told my daddy I got a tattoo and that I work at the tattoo shop now. What the hell? Y'all know, y'all know better. God damn. Call him over here to come fix my breaker because it keeps tripping and I ain't got no power in my room or in the bathroom. He comes in, let Zeus in after he's all muddy, you've been running around outside. You're muddy, you've been running around outside. Ugh. Let Zeus in, first thing he says, let me see a new tattoo. Ah oh, shit. Ah oh, shit. I showed him. He was like, mm-hmm. How long you been working at the tattoo shop? Ah oh, shit. Ugh. About a week now. Yeah. Were you gonna tell me? I was gonna tell you that I got a new job, but I wasn't gonna tell you about the tattoo. That's what I figured. How'd you find out? I ain't gonna reveal my sources. Was it Bill? Bill, did you tell my daddy I got a tattoo? We can, Bill. We can. You don't do that. I bet you it was Bill. He's the only one of my kin that actually has connections to that shop. Unless it was Becky. I don't think Becky would do that to me. She's my sister. You wouldn't do that to me, would you, Becky? You my sister! We homegirls! Anyway. So yeah, my dad found out I got a tattoo. I only show I only showed him one. The new one. I didn't show him the other one. Figured that would be a bad idea. I'm not gonna do that. And I didn't tell him I got my ears pierced. I actually wore my hat so that he wouldn't see that I got my ears pierced. No, in it tight. In that tight. Oops. Came out. Oh, this one came out. Anyway. So, yeah. There's your update for you. I got a new tattoo. Got my ears pierced. And I uh, got another part time job at the tattoo shop. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Tattoo Asylum. With Walker. Pretty legit. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, I don't really, I don't do tattoos or piercings or anything. I just run the counter, I take your ID and your money, because I'm a hot girl, and everybody wants to give their money to a hot girl. Pretty cool. But I have seen some pretty good tattoos since I've been working there. Last night, this guy came in and got the uh, Hollywood Undead, the, the dove with the grenade on his chest. That was pretty cool. He was too young for me, though, but he was hitting on me, and it was kind of cute. Uh -huh. Anyway. Um, let me see what else. Apparently, I am a manly woman, I guess. Because it is starting to really piss me off when guys act like bitches. If you're a dude... Stop acting like a bitch. Don't get mad because I don't text you back right away. Don't get mad because I don't want to be your girlfriend right now. I mean, come on. And don't post shit about me on Facebook and act like I don't know you're talking about me. I know. I ignore it because it's a vagina move. And I called you a vagina. Because that's what you were doing. Simple as that. You were being a vagina. You know who I'm talking to. Anyway. Uh, I don't know. That's not really much going on. No. It's not. Hmm. Oh, there's gotta be something interesting, right? Gotta be something interesting.
I don't know. Um... I'm probably gonna skip a bunch of stuff. Because I just went blank. Like, I really, I don't, I don't really have that much to talk about. Except for Home Depot. Y'all need to make up y'all goddamn minds. I'm sitting there working returns. And this customer comes in wanting to return stolen merchandise. I know it was stolen because someone in the store, another one of my workers, called me, said, hey, this person just stole that stuff. Don't return it. So I didn't. I called the manager and was like, yeah, we got, um, why don't you come check this out? And she's like, what you want me to come out there for? And I was like, um, they called me and said that it was stolen stuff. Yeah. She's like, I know you did not just say that in front of that fucking customer. I was like, you are asking what else you want me to say. If I need you to come up here, come up here. Don't make me say it in front of everybody. Because then by then, the customer was like, steal it. I didn't, I didn't steal nothing. I didn't, I didn't do that. I didn't steal it. Would you accuse me of stealing? So yeah. He got out the store with $300 from stolen merchandise. Because that little bitch wouldn't believe me. She went, she bitched me out. She was like, don't you ever call me up here for something stupid like that. Just because a customer doesn't have a receipt doesn't mean you can deny them a return. And I was like, bitch, someone called me, told me they were stealing that shit. It don't matter. You never say no. You never say no to a customer. And I was like, fine. Never say no to a customer whatever so then had this customer come through with flooring they had like five things of flooring like laminate tile or some shit like that and he said he bought it six months ago and he doesn't have a receipt well of course when i go to scan it it's a discontinued item we don't sell it. We don't get it. No one sells this discontinued item. So, you know, of course I tell them, sir, I can't do it. We can't, we can't take that back because the system won't let us do it. And so he calls a manager. It's a different manager this time. And that manager comes up. Well, what's, what's the problem? It's like, well, this is merchandise. It's, uh, it's discontinued. We can't take it back. Oh, I'm sure we can work something out. I'm sure. You don't, we will, you don't ever say no to a customer. We will fix it. That fucker entered a flooring coal skew. Gave that guy $300 for a discontinued item we can't sell. I was like, fine, fuck it, you do it. I ain't doing it. I ain't, mm -mm, I ain't bringing it back. Whatever, fuck that. So that just reiterated in my brain, never tell a customer no. All right. So later, these two Asian guys come in, and they don't speak a lot of English, all right? But I see them in there all the time. They own a restaurant. They buy bulk shit all the time because they don't know what they're doing. And then they come and return the stuff they don't use. Well, well, I am returning all their stuff. And that's like $400 worth of plumbing, okay? The manager walks by. And he's like, they have a receipt? Mm, no, no. You return all that stuff and they don't have a receipt? I was like, oh, hell. Oh, here we fucking go again. And he bitches me out for returning the stuff without a receipt. I was like, what the hell is going on? Either you want me to return this shit, or you don't want me to return this shit. I best not be getting in trouble for shit, no matter what I do. Because it looks like that's what's going on. It looks like y'all are just like bitching me out. Whether I do it right or do it wrong, I can't do it. 
I cannot make you fuckers happy. Fuck you. Fuck you in the ass. Stupid. That was a good rant. I needed that. I needed that. Valentine's Day is coming up. That should be interesting. I think what's gonna go down is me and Afton are uh, gonna sit on the couch with a tub of ice cream and watch cheesy chick flicks all day long. Sounds like a plan to me. Unless... I'm off work, and I get to go to this audition in New Orleans for a movie, because I'd really like to. I need business. Alright, um, I'm pretty sure I'm out of stuff to say now. Yeah. Except, I want to give a shout out to my redneck neighbors. I love my redneck neighbors. My brother-in-law, his gay best friend, my sister, Becky, unless you told dad. I'll be mad at you if you told dad, Becky. Mad at you. Anyway. Nowhere else in the world will you have neighbors who will cook fried chicken in the kitchen at noon while drinking a beer and smoking cigarettes with ten fucking dogs in the house. Only in Louisiana. A beer at noon with a cigarette in the kitchen cooking fried chicken that comes out black. My sister made black fried chicken. Black fried chicken. It was awesome. It was awesome, though. We're good. We're good. Mmm. Mm -mm. Woo! Tap the maze, video blog. I don't know what number it is. It's like five or six. One of them. Okay. Bye.